once again we are back with another Putnam problem this is a1 from Putnam 2020 the problem says that how many positive integers n satisfy all of the following conditions first condition is n is divisible by 2020 next condition is n has at most 2020 decimal digits and the decimal digits of n are a string of consecutive ones followed by a string of consecutive zeros now if we notice uh, the number n will be something like this that consecutive ones and then some consecutive zeros let me assume that there are x ones and y zeros so the number of digit is x plus y and from the given question this will be strictly i mean sorry less than or equal to 2020 however from here we can write in as a closed from so let us see how is that possible so n equal to 1 1 1 1 here is exactly x ones and 0 0 0 0 0 and here is exactly y zeros now since 2020 divides n we must have 10 into 101 into 2 divide n or we can say 20 divide n and 101 divide n since 20 divide n it must have at least 2 0 at the end for example 1 0 0 is divisible by 20 and hence 1 1 0 0 is also divisible by 20 so we previously get that y is greater than or equal to 2 so we can write n as following this is equal to 10 to the power x plus y minus 1 plus 10 to the power x plus y minus 2 and this goes up to 10 to the power y isn't it and we can write it as following take 10 to the power y as common so we get 1 plus 10 plus 10 square this goes up to 10 to the power x minus 1 so using the summation formula of gp series we get this thing in equal to 10 to the power y into 10 to the power x minus 1 by 9 now since 2020 divides a and we have already proved that y is greater than equal to 2 then we can say that 20 divides 10 to the power y and 101 since 101 is dividing in it will imply that 101 divide 10 to the power x minus 1 by 9 now if you notice that n and 101 are co-prime so we should concern about the case when 101 divide 10 to the power x minus 1 so look at this that 10 square is equal to 100 and it is congruent to minus 1 modulo 101 and if we take the square we get 10 to the power 4 congruent to 1 modulo 101 
so it imply that 10 to the power 4 minus 1 congruent to 0 modulo 101 and from here we can prove the rest thing very easily that for any k belong to the set of natural number we can say that 10 to the power 4k is also congruent to 1 modulo 101 so it implies that 101 should divide 10 to the power x minus 1 when 4 divide x or more precisely x is equal to 4k for k belong to the set of natural number and if you remember that our given condition was x plus y is strictly less than or equal to i mean sorry less than or equal to 2020 so if we put 4k here and y so we can get that 4k is less than equal to 2020 minus y and since y is greater than equal to 2 so this is less than or equal to 2018 so from here we can write that k is less than equal to 504 so for each k for example if we take k equal to 504 then we have y less than or equal to 20 20 minus 4 into 504 so in this case we get y is less than equal to 2 and from this condition we can say that the possibility of y is 1 so for any k y must be less than equal to 20 20 minus 4k and the possibilities of values of y will be 20 20 minus 4k minus 1 because we cannot take the value of y for the case y equal to 1 so we have 2019 minus 4k values of y now k can run from 1 to 504 so the number of possibilities of such values of uh, n is strictly i mean clearly equal to summation k equal to 1 from 504 2019 minus 4k so if you add them up so you must get this is equal to 2019 into 504 minus 4 into 504 into 505 equal to so 508536 508536 this is our possible answer a special video is coming very soonly till then wait bye bye